That's not good. That's like, I said, that's maybe two inches. You were like, I work. <laughs> I just cracked it right next to us. Set it. There it is. Let's go. What's going on, folks? We are ice fishing today. This lake was open last night. I don't know how how thick the ice is. And Banjo thought, you know, listen, if we're gonna fall through, let's at least stay dry. So let's put waders on. So then, if they fill up, <laughs> we drown. Uh, well, we hope we don't drown. But I, yes, I'm wearing. You're not wearing waders. So you're the only person no. that'll survive. No, but if I fall in, I won't be wet. Yeah. I just gotta keep my arms above yeah. chest, water. I can get them off pretty fast if I. Around. Yeah, I can. So if I fall in, um, it's not gonna. So I do not recommend. Do not recommend wearing waders on thin ice like we're doing today. Um, but we we're gonna. It was the only thing I could think of to keep me nice and dry and warm. I don't know about that. To be honest with you, that sounds good. You wanna pop a hole and see? It's clear ice. I mean, it's clean. The fact that you guys just made the whole lake crack. I don't like that. No. Like, I don't like that at all, actually. I think the trout pond might be maybe a little thicker. I don't know if you could hear that on camera. The whole thing went. I'm a little nervous. I mean, there's already, I can see a spring already out there. But our goal is to go ice fishing today and do a catch clean cook on the ice. We have we have the hut. It's snowing. We're supposed to get like some blizzard today. I don't really see that happening. Did, did it just crack? Yeah. Go ahead and give her the old popski. Oh. Oh. How are we feeling about that? Not good. I would get off if I was Banjo. <laughs> At least only one of us is going down. Yeah, Dude, was, did you hear that? Yeah, that was sketchy. The whole thing. <laughs> oh, we dang on. Oh, God, that can't be more than three. Oh, that's like two and a half. It's clean, though. It is clean. Two and a half does it, though. You, does it? Yeah, it works. You would know? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Gets yeah, yeah it gets the job done? Believe it or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just does. how you. Do it, yeah. You got it. So we really feel like we can all three go out there, put a hut out there, and two inches of ice, or I put about the, all the gear. I put the hut right about here. We think. Yeah. That's, I'm worried about all the gear, and, the and should we go off the dock? Yeah. Think we can catch them off the dock? That's dude. That's oh my gosh. That's thin, dude. See it now? That's yeah, not good. Inches. That's like I said. That's maybe two inches. I don't think I've ever fished on it that. Dude, and we gotta have three guys. It's one thing if you have it by yourself. It's like whatever. You have three dudes standing there in one area cooking. I'd say we cook off the dock. It's gonna be thin around the dock, I will say that. Yeah, so like yeah. walking off the dock's not gonna be Keeps no. warm, like ideal. Cool. Do we think we're gonna fall in like legit though? Like, like off camera legit? Like are we <laughs> actually gonna die? Is this is this worth it, Banjo? <laughs> All three in one spot might not be the smartest idea. I, I, don't I like mean, we're plumb. all gonna be standing there and we're drilling the hole and like, whoosh, we're all gonna plumb yeah. it and yeah. we all have to, like, they, I only have two. I only have two spikes. Oh, I left so mine in the truck. So someone's dead for sure. I just don't want to all three stand in one spot with all of our gear in the hut and everything. I want. Let me pop a hole and see. I want to see how good I feel over here. You see? That? Yeah, that's not. Look, look at this. That's not good at all. I'll be honest. When I remember a couple years ago, I purposely fell through. It's hard to fall through. Yeah. When it's clear, thin ice like this. It's also like what 35 degrees right now. It's melting as we speak. For and sure. it was like raining, snowing, which this this right here will get it to yeah. melt. I say we do like an hour. Don't stop doing that. See the crack? Stop doing that! <laughs> I ran, dude! Right I just cracked it right next to us. I say we do an hour ice fishing challenge. One hour? One Run. hour. Run a gun. Because it's getting warmer throughout the day, too. Yeah, it's already 35. This now. is not yeah. good. This is not good at all. This is way thinner than I, I thought. Just, no hut. Just pop a few holes. We get a few fish. We fry them up on the land. Oh, oh really? Land. Yeah, I ain't doing that on the ice. There's no reason. <laughs> You're talking about three guys in one hut. not a good idea no, right now. No. Look how much gear we brought, by the way. I mean, we were ready for a freaking, yeah, going to Canada or something. We got like five tip ups. We got five rod and reels. We got a pan optics. We got cook, cooking gear, an entire tent. We went and got wax worms and minnows. We took a dookie over here. That's a coyote. Look at him. It's a lot. Dude, he's been steaming it up. A lot of stuff. Yeah, I mean, taking a sled. I'm thinking a bucket with your stuff that you need. Yep. Just one rod. The unit. One rod and a bucket, yep. and let's go. D don't be too close to the next guy. Don't jump next we to my hole. We can put, like, the bait in a sled. Like the we can pulling a sled behind you ain't, ain't going to hurt nothing. And if it cracks, jump in the sled. Yeah, I'll jump in the yeah. sled. Yeah. yeah. So who's not wearing spikes? That would be me, probably. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, he doesn't have weight. I was going to so say, if you two go under, you're I mean, I can throw you my spikes. Yeah. If I go under, I'm dead if I don't have yeah, spikes. Yeah, you just slide with it. Yeah. yeah. If somebody goes through, you just give them spikes. All right. We, wait, there's also a spud bar. We can take a spud bar and, yeah. and whack and whack as we go. Yeah. So that way, when you whack, you'll just fall through right there. And you yeah. don't have to, you, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. easier that way. I've never understood that. <laughs> Like, it was like, I don't know if it's safe. Wham! Yeah. No, I don't know. Wham! Like, why is that the way to do that? I feel like I would rather just walk out there and not know. One, one hit, you're through. You think, yeah. I, mean, I think we're like three or four. How hits. many hits does it take? Okay. It's clean ice. That it is clean. If this was dirty ice, it wouldn't be ideal. Three. Three, three ain't bad. I've seen worse. You don't want to hit the same spot. I can't hit the same spot. Hang on, I'll do it. Three. It's three hits. I think we're good. Really? I thought the saying was three hits and you're dead. Really? Yeah. I don't know what the rules are here, but I feel like this is not good for anybody. Just don't walk by that spring over there. No, that's where I was going to fish, actually. Really? Yeah. Right down the spring? You don't yeah. even need to drill a hole. Yeah. It's ready to rock. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to take some minimal gear out there. You guys stay tuned. Banjo's ready. Yeah. You got the spikes. The only one without spikes is Jake. Big rip. You'll be all right, though. I'll be fine. You're the only one without waders. Him and I, have, we're a ticking time bomb if we fall in. I should probably put my phone on the inside, so if I shed this vest, I don't lose my phone, too. That would smart, suck. Smart. Because I'm going to pro if I if I fall in, as long as I don't go under, like, over my waders, it would take, it'd be hard for water to fill this really fast. Yeah. Like, to the point where you're going to drown. I think I'll be all right. It but worst case, a mine's got a little more. he's going to fill up. I, I'm just going to do this. One motion and I'll get my waders off. So you're, he's going to come out yeah. naked. Yep. Hell yeah. yeah. You guys get ready for that. So I'm going to put my phone in my waders, or inside my waders, so that way if I, if I have to ditch my waders, I don't lose my phone. But I figured if I've got this zipped and this zipped, the pace at which water can enter, pretty slow. Pretty slow. It'd have to go right here. Yeah. And as soon as you fall in, as long as I pop up, mm -hmm. dude, I'm dry. Yeah. I just be chilling, you know yeah. what I mean? Versus, you know, <laughs> yeah. I'll just be like, all right, give me a second here. I'm just going to go ahead and just <laughs> and pull out. All right, man. You don't know anything about that. You lead. You really? lead. What? Where's the blood bar? Whoosh! What the hell? You don't You got there. it. You got it. Oh, 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 what do you mean don't move? What do I do? <laughs> You're good. Just keep going. That cracked under my feet. I felt it. Yeah. He's still going. Dude, that scared the sh** out of me, dude. <laughs> you didn't like that, huh? Dude, it cracked under my feet. I could feel it. You gonna pop a hole? <laughs> this guy's That insane. took like a half a second, dude. <laughs> you know all them Minnesotans are like, don't be such a <laughs> you know? <laughs> Come f you guys, all right? Coming from somebody who has fallen in, it's not fun, all right? Dude! Oh my, dude, you're out on an inch. Yeah, I know, I told you it's an inch. Yeah, dude, he's on an inch, I can see it. Dude, he's on, it, he's, it's this. Do you better do, I don't, I'm serious, you better be careful. <laughs> That's maybe an inch, dude. It's that. Like, why do people do this for fun again? Anyone? Like, the only reason why this is interesting is because we're, like, partially fearing for our life. Otherwise, what's enjoyable about this? You stay right where you're at. Don't move a muscle. I'm watching the water. Look. Can you get a shot of this? Oh, the water. If I creepy. stand right here, look, watch. Can you see the water? This whole right now, we're, this whole thing is sagging. The water's coming through the hole, and then we're getting a like this ring is gonna be twice as big in like ten minutes. Watch mm -hmm. this. All, I'm watching all this snow because the pressure we're putting right here. Why does this thing suck ass? Uh, why? Battery's not. It's dead, banjo. I charge. I mean, I charged it too. I am. Mean, the other one's probably definitely not charged either. Well, son of a gun, what are we supposed to do here when it's one inches of ice, you don't want to move, and you don't have a graph? Easy with that fast movement. That's what I'm talking about. You ain't got to drill a hole. You can see right through that ice. Oh, it's right there. I see it. Right here. If you're telling me that transducer works better through the ice than the freaking actual panoptics, that's shocker. No fish right here. I mean, we could. I can honestly walk around, plop this down, and try to find fish over you and drill a hole. I don't really want to go that way. Do you see the landmines out there? Yeah. There's like 27 springs. I'll be honest. The, where we're at right now is probably the worst place to stand now. Yeah. I mean, look how much water there is. Just standing water from de the depression that we created by standing here. Yeah. Yeah, that's not ideal. Look, the water's falling. Holy sh**. 
This is not good, dude. Look at this. <laughs> this is scary. I've never experienced that. Yeah, it's reading perfect. You got 12. I think there's fish on the bottom. There might be fish on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, there is. Hey, we got fish here, Banjo. Yeah, yeah we got fish, fish right fish here. Those are big fish, too. We got them. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, we're eating because I don't know how much longer we got. It's at, this thing's actively thawing as we speak. I'm going to vacate the premise. You can put a hole right there. That went right under my feet when you did that. I, where do I stand? Where do I stand? Why am I the hole? Master? You like digging holes. I feel like that's thicker. Is it? The whole time he drilled, it was cracking under me. Why don't you catch him? You got it. Can you see that fish down there? <laughs> yeah. There was one at about nine. I don't know if he's still there. On the spot. There he's coming. So just drop it down to him a little bit. Just real slow. All right, to hold it, just hold it. Oh, he's biting it, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep, set it. Set there it. it. Is. There it is. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, get him oh, over yeah. here. Giant. Mega. Giant. That's a giant, dude. dude. All right, don't let him go, baby. That's, that's a mega. Eater. Holy sh! That's huge, Ooh, dude. That's a kegger. That's real. giant bluegill, dude. dude. Nice work, dude. That's my PV bluegill. Dude, that thing is a tank. We're, I love how we're like not congratulating each other because we're keeping our distance. <laughs> but I'm just like, let's go, Banjo! From like the shore. Shoo! Definitely could be through the ice. Yeah, for sure. You All want right. this one? No, no, you got it. Really? Let's see. This is a banjo. banjo your bluegill banjo, remember? You put on a Dude. clinic. Let's see it. Dude, that thing is a tank, bro. Yeah, that's a big deal. That's huge. Oh, there you are, about eight foot. All right. I'm You're bottom. on the bottom, bottom now. What are the odds we just walk over, drop the deucer on a Mondo? <laughs> let's freaking go. Oh, I think I already. Are they checking it out already? Did you see those? Something oh, yeah. oh, right oh, there. Yeah. Right there. Right there. <laughs> me. Dude, that was big. That was. We got to catch this fish. Get the fuck out of here. So I'm. I got him. To, he's fired up. I thought that crack was. We were going in. I thought that was the end of it. 100. <laughs> yeah, percent bad. Yeah, and we all. We all would have went in too. <laughs> you see the water pouring in from the hole. Pouring. Yeah. Pouring. You see it, Banjo? The rip, dude. That's there's a crazy. Look at it running towards you. I'm, I'm, I, I have a feeling right now we should probably get off. Yeah, I, look at it. Look at it. It's pouring out here. It's, yeah. it's, it's pouring. All right. I'm Who out. has to go get the transducer? I'm out. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll hook it and bring it to me. Look at that guy. Banjo, do you see what's happening? Yeah, I see it. We should probably Poor leave. Flooding. I mean, the ice. There, it's pouring out. You're it's standing in an inch of water. You're, You're standing in it, more water than the ice is. All right, I'll go in the transducer. This is not good, dude. It, I've never seen that before. No. Meaning we're going down, it's just pumping out yeah. onto the ice, like actively pumping. Oh, I've never been so glad to get off the freaking lake, dude. Land ho! That was awful. The amount of cracks that happened when I was walking, <laughs> dude, I would just... Dude, I, I wouldn't walk in the same line as you because there's so many cracks. My goal is to not put as all the weight on one leg. So I was just sliding. Just trying to distribute it and just rock. That sucked. But congrats on the big bluegill. Thank you. That's probably a PB, dude. That thing's yeah, a freaking mondo. Huge. Grab big Sheila. Oh, yeah. Look at that kegger, dude. dude that is... He's long. Look at that. Like, so long. Mondo bluegill. Yeah. Uh, at least we got it. enough to eat. That sucked. I never want to do that again. Oh, that's right, baby. We changed our mind. We decided we are not a bunch of wieners, weenie hut juniors. We are going to still cook on the ice, even if we fall in and make really good content. So we're just like, you know what? Off camera, we decide we huddle up and like, if we go down, we go down together. We don't care. We're doing it legit. We're cooking on the ice, folks. This is what we came out here to do. I didn't want to let you guys down. Banjo, Banjo, you got that bluegill back there? Yeah. Go ahead and bring that, bring that sucker in. I'm going to get this oil nice and hot. <laughs> got it right here. That we're with you guys the land's right there we're on <laughs> we, foot of water. We, we we're in a half foot of water okay hey listen 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 okay we wanted to make it authentic we wanted to use the, the i always say the brain wash i can just brain now we've only used like twice I've had it for three years i can see the bottom right there 
Yeah, There's we're about gravel to right a hole there. right there. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, I think we're only about maybe a foot a foot of water there, Banjo. Listen, I'm not trying to fall in still, all right? There's still <laughs> good possessions that we have right here. We're not gonna get wet. Yeah, I mess with you guys. We are uh, we're still doing. This is almost like we're out there, but we're in here. Exactly. Isn't it nice in here? It is nice, dude. Oh my, I would I we'll we'll do another video. It's supposed to get really cold this week, so that hopefully that'll pack on some inches of the ice, and then we can actually come out here and do like a real video. But I'm like, dude, coming in here with like a little heater, going frying it up. I feel like that'd be good. Also, ice camping. That's something we hadn't done yet before Banjo. So if you guys want to see that, you have to let us know. If you guys want to see us do a little little ice camping. Ice might need to be a little thicker for that one. Yeah, I would say it needs to be thicker. Yeah, you don't want to have... Uh, or you could do hot tent on the ice. You think that would melt a hole? Wood burning stove. Wood burning stove ice? on the ice. If it's thick enough, maybe. Solo challenge. He, he, Banjo's not about it. What's going on here? It smells good. You know, you know what it is? Pot? We had this is the fondue Dude, pot. It smells like chocolate. It does. And we didn't wash it because I can smell the fondue That's fine. from the missile silo video. Yeah, this thing's getting freaking it's ripping. Alright, so we got some oil. We are gonna fry up Banjo's nice little gill here. <laughs> I like the oil. You like that? Yeah. I mean it's gonna be perfect for this. So we we got some farm fresh eggs right here, Banjo. Look, they still got poop on them. That's fresh. That's that's for you. We prepared for a whole fish fry because I thought I want. I didn't think it was gonna be this this thin where we had to get off the ice because the water was billowing and pumping onto the ice. I thought we were gonna freaking just slay. So I brought more gear than you probably really need, but at least Banjo got one mega. So we're gonna get him cleaned up. As you guys know, we can't show you that. And then we're gonna fry him up. We got some red fish batter. I think, it's, I think it's like a Cajun flavor. Should taste pretty good. But we're not letting the thin ice uh, ruin our day here. We're still going to have a catch clean cook on the ice. We're just two and a half yards from the shore. So if we do fall in, we can just get right out. Stay tuned. Bam! Look at those suckers. All right. We ran out of butane. She's running a little low. The oil is plenty hot, though. I'm going to go ahead and get some farm fresh eggs cracked up in there. Get them fried up. You guys, if you're not subscribed to Uncut, you're missing out. Oh, big shell guy. I, my fillet job was a 10 out of 10. It's probably the best bluegill fillet job of all time. You want to scramble these eggs. What would happen if you cracked an egg in that oil right now? Fry? Anyone ever done that? I don't know. I don't know why my head... What? It's like when you let your intrusive thoughts get the best of you, you know? <laughs> I was like, what if I just poured this straight in right now? What would you get? We, maybe we should try it after the, after the fish burn. Okay, go straight into the batter. Wah-bam. That's good. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go, boys. Fire right in the hole. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're running out of heat, but that's all right. It'll be enough to make two little flats. That's all that matters. I'm, dude, I'm definitely cracking an egg in this oil when we're done with it. Really? I don't know why. You tell me you're, you're not curious? We're taking bets. What's it going to look like? I don't know. Is it going to be soft like a fr like a normal like a scrambled egg? egg? Or what? Well, yeah. Should I scramble it and then dump it or just, just cr crack, crack, whole crack it in the in the See, You think it'll, it'll, like it'll fry on top? I, no. Like, you don't think it'll sink? It'll sink like a poached egg will in water. And then what do you, you just You just grab it out. There it goes. Now we're doing it. I... I'm liking the vibe. Ice camping. Yeah, do it. I kind of like it. Maybe next week. I feel like you get them little meals. Besides, like, catching cooks, you get them little meals that you could put hot water in, some nice coffee. Yeah. And this thing's, I think it's comfortable for three. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. You put, put three cots in here. In here. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, for sure. Put three cots in here and drill the holes in the middle. What was that? Who, who did that? That was the bucket. The lid just closed. Oh, my, my God. God. I thought I got You guys shot. got PTSD someone, from the ice. Dude, no, I thought someone definitely was ripping around yeah. in there. Oh, that was not good. All right. But I do like the vibes where you have a cot and you have a hole and you're just jigging. That's what I'm saying. You're just yeah. Run some Starlink down here. Really? Oh really? god, yeah, rip some cod. Yeah, you guys will have to comment down below some ice camping ideas. If you want to do like, we come out here with no food and have to catch our food, or do you want to just see straight camping where we bring you know some wieners? Speaking of that, deer came back. You got a bunch of wieners. Deli meat. And some and some deli meat. So if you want to see us like camp or ice survival or maybe both, maybe we do one camping, one survival. That is, believe it or not, something we haven't done. We've done a lot. We're in the same tent. You're doing survival and I'm doing camping. Oh, I see. Good content. I see how oh, it let's is. Let's go to like Bass Pro. You each get a budget. So oh, yours is like a hundred bucks. Banjo's like a grand. Yeah. Like oh, why does Banjo get the grand? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> well, you guys ought to let us know some ideas. Once these guys are fried up, we're gonna stick this meat in our mouth. Stay tuned. Sheesh! Lunch of champions, Banjo. Oh, I'm hungry. Buddy was Looks swimming good. just a little while ago. Now he's about to enter Banjo's mouth. Yo. Crazy man there. That's where we all... Oh, yeah, hang on. Look out. It's it's pretty shallow oil. I bet it won't be anything crazy. You got it. Oh, Big son shell of guy. Big shell guy. I don't know if that oil's hot, to be honest. It's just frying down there. 
Dude, the egg is just fine. The yolk's kind of, the, it, yeah, it is. That oil must not be that hot. No, nope. son of a gun. Lost our heat. We lost our heat banjo. Dude, it cooked it. <laughs> dude, that's so weird. Look at that, dude. Flip it. Oh god. Give it a flip. I, I need a, I need a spatch. Now nah, you got it. Flip that on top. Yeah, flip. see, that's what. I... Oh, oh, it's almost cooked. Oh, I can't flip it. I need a freaking. I thought I brought a spatch. Did I not? I knew I had one. Look out. Oh, dude, it's almost like a perfect fried egg. Dude, this might be the deal. No, might be something. I don't know. Cheat code. To this might. Egg. This might be the deal. I'm gonna. You eat that. I'm gonna eat this. Oh, that's fine. You can have that. I'll put Did I bring? Out. You got any forks or no? No. Did I not bring those? Hmm. Mm. Fire. You're what? missing out. Is that the deal? How's that bad? Really good. Really good. It's like got flavor to it. It's nice. not like too spicy though. All right, here we go, boys. I mean... It's like a perfect fried egg. Dude, this is gonna be fire. It's gotta be. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's perfect. Dude, this is this might be the new deal. I'm sure it's really bad for you, but, I mean... It is. Perfectly fried. That's weird. I ain't never seen that. Good. Dude, it tastes like a fried egg. Really? Like... If I took it off and like patted it dry, you wouldn't tell me. You wouldn't. You wouldn't think anything of it. It's got. It tastes like fish a little, just a little bit. Fishy egg. That's bussin' right there. <laughs> I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Tastes like an egg. It just tastes like a fried egg. Yeah, that's weird. That's so. I don't know why I expect it to be different, but it's not. And you're right. It was a perfectly fried egg, like because there was just. So you don't get the little burnt ends. No, it yeah. just middles. It just, just straight up. You that, are you have that, that sucker? Oh yeah, I ate that whole thing. All right, here we go. Was it cooked all right? Yeah. Oh, that oil was started to go downhill on us here. Mm. Oh my god. Wow. That's good. Mm. Wow. It was really good. That's like really good, dude. Yeah. I don't know if I'm just hungry. Or tastes like walleye to me. Yeah, I'm gonna say that might be some of the best fish I think I've ever had. Oh my gosh, I don't even taste like a bluegill. No, it's yeah. fire. It looks like great. Long John Silver's. It looks great. It's a little hot, but oh. yeah, it's warm. A little warm. Yeah, that t you're right. It tastes more like a walleye than anything. Yeah. Yeah. Why does it taste like walleye? Like normally, bluegill has a t a hint of fish, like yeah. that, like scaly it's got fish. A little bit of oiliness yeah. to it. This is that's like, not nothing really. No. Yet. That's just a thick fillet. That's delicious. Oh, yeah, that's, the yeah you, you, you can, can have it. Your your, oh, really? Your slice. I ate my whole slice. Mm. Oh, my. I like that coating. Though. Yeah, that batter. That batter is really good. Yeah. Got that red stuff. Yeah. yeah. A little mm. spice, but not too much. Mm. Look at the thickness of the bluegill fillet. That's it's got to be the best. All right, you can have the rest of that. That's the best bluegill I've had for sure. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, my God. Egg 10 out of 10. Bluegill 10 out of 10. I think the ice camping needs to be the next thing, Banjo. Yeah. Once it gets a little thicker, we I'm got, in. It, it, a little thicker. After this week, it should, be, it should be nice and thick. But we can do our survival and our camping episodes that we normally do, like in the cabins and out in the woods, but we'll do them on the ice. I think it'd be cool. So you guys have to let us know if you guys want to see that in some future videos once the ice is just a little bit thicker. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the end.